So you've been seeing your first profitable year in trading, and now you wonder, what do I work on now? What's the goal? What do I put my efforts on to get the best result in the future? And that's what we'll cover in this video. Well, so traders, welcome back to Bangkok and Thailand. Today I want to share with you, as I said, what to do when you had your first profitable year in trading, when you had some results. What do you put your time on to be able to move forward and, and keep the momentum going? I've got some tips on that because I believe that people tend to do things wrong on that particular cases. They get some result and then they fall behind. So how to keep the momentum going, that's what we'll talk about for now. So I've got five tips for you guys when it comes to that. And I'm going to go through those step by step so you can apply them. And keep in mind the goal here is not to just take information but to apply it afterwards. So if you have some, some tips, some good lessons here, take note of them and then make sure to put in some work after that. So the first things first is, I've talked about this in the past. The principle I call it is the learn, apply, and teach principle. So general says that if you want to be able to get some really, really good result in whatever, you got to be able to learn, then you got to be able to apply, but then if you want to get even better result, you got to teach what you've learned and what you've applied. Because you learn a lot and you get a lot out of teaching to other people what you learn. And so the principle here is that if you've been successful in trading, if you have your profitable year, then I suggest you go around and find everyone around you and then teach them what you know. It could be like small, it could be like teaching them about the basics of, of the market and Forex, or it could be more in depth, like teaching them strategies or what you do in the market and explaining what you do to people so that you will solidify your knowledge and your skills by teaching them to people. Okay, really important to do, and people don't do this, they're either afraid to teach or to share what they know, or they're afraid that people will kind of not be happy with that, but that doesn't matter. You just gotta teach what you'll know and what you've learned and what you're able to do so that you are even better at doing it after. Okay, really important, first step. The second thing is once you've been able to have your first profitable year or first profitable few months in trading is you have to be careful to not let things slide. And this happened to me in the past where I was profitable and then suddenly I was not so profitable. I wanted to leave it behind because I let things slide. So when things go well, it's super easy to let a review slide. You don't do your, your weekly review, you forget your journal, or you uh, stop doing something you did before because things are good now. And if you do this long enough, then you fall behind and your results suffer. So you gotta keep the same momentum of action, the same habits you've had before that got you to success. Keep these same habits in place so that you don't fall behind. Because it's very easy, as I said, to go back because you've let something slide and you didn't do all you were doing in the past. So you gotta be careful about this. Then the third thing is you gotta figure out what works and what doesn't. So I would suggest you go back on all your trades that you've been doing the past year or so where you were profitable and try to figure out what worked in this and what didn't. So what are the things that work most often? What are the things that don't work most often? And by this I mean like it could be, could be your habits. It could be like, oh, when I meditate, I tend to perform better. So that's something that works. Or when I don't do my reviews, I tend to trade worse and that doesn't work. Or it could be setups. So when this happens in the market, when there's a trend, I tend to perform less well, I tend to perform worse. Or when there's no trend, when it's sideways, I perform better. Or things of the sort. Like there's a lot of ways you can find to improve. And if you look at these things, identify them, see what works, what doesn't, you're more likely to improve in the future. You're more likely to replicate your results that are good because you know what works and what doesn't. So that's really important. I would do this with like with trades, with habits, with uh, things you do on the side, with uh, whatever. And you're gonna find ways to improve and become better. My fourth tip here is to slowly find ways to improve. So you're gonna be profitable, you're gonna have some results, maybe you fall behind a little bit, maybe not. But you gotta keep going this momentum of continuous improvement, continuous growth in trading. And the way you do this is by slowly adding in things that will make your trading better and will make you grow. A big mistake people make is that they think that only one strategy that they use, that they are profitable with, will work forever. And it doesn't. It works for some time, then it works less well, less well, and if you don't improve it, it kind of fades away and becomes really bad. So what you want to do is you want to find ways to improve continuously, but slowly at first. And so that could, that could be like one way you find to improve, one way you find that you could be better, one different ways of taking profit, or one different way of putting your stop loss. And then you implement that slowly over time. Or it could even be like a, 
one way that you look at your chart, okay, a simple way. So instead of looking at your chart on a weekly chart, you look at on a daily chart or whatever, and that works better. Things of the sort, slowly add them in, slowly transition to that, and over time you'll be improving, and that's what you do to become really, really good. Now my last point to go forward from your first profitable year in trading is simply, very simply, to keep the long-term goal in mind. Okay, you might have a goal you set, a long-term vision, long-term goal, and you cannot deviate from that. Some people are profitable now in trading, and their goal was to kind of live and travel and be free from trading, but then they find themselves going into day trading because they want to find ways to improve, and they, they forgot what the long-term vision was of traveling, seeing the world, and they forgot these things. So if you are getting distracted by other things when you're profitable, which might happen, and if you get the long-term goal, then you're going to find yourself frustrated later on because you are not reaching your goal. You're reaching something different that you did not anticipate. So really important to have a long-term goal, long-term vision of what you want to achieve, and then find ways to get closer to that. Okay, find ways to and, and actually plan how you will get there, what steps it will take to get to your long-term vision. And if you can do that, then chances are, and chances are really good, that over time you will get there because you know where you're headed. Okay, it's like a GPS. You put your GPS to some destination and boom, you get there okay, because you know and you've, you've planned this first. If you didn't plan this or if you go against that because you want to just make more money, then that doesn't work. That's not in line with your long-term vision. So hope that makes sense, guys. These are five tips you can use to move forward when you, when you have your first profitable year or first profitable few months. Comment below in the chat if you have any other ideas, any other tips for that. I want to know your thoughts as always. Here are a few comments for the past video. Appreciate you guys for leaving your comments as always. Subscribe for some done yet. There is one more video like this four times per week. And I will catch you back here in Bangkok pretty soon. Ciao.